Hey everybody, welcome back to Unhappy Met Board Games, where we feed our people with relatable content and our victory condition is your satisfaction. I'm happy and today I'll be having another unboxing. Today I'll be unboxing this game right here, Wingspan, designed by Elizabeth Hargrave. This is the massively popular, successful game by um, Stonemeyer Games. Uh, it is 1 through 5 players and ages 10 and up and the estimated game length is 40 to 70 minutes. So let's just open this bad boy up <clears throat> and see the pieces inside. Take off the shrink wrap here. <clears throat> Alrighties. Here we go. So first of all, we've got a rule book here. And I like the material here. It's not your typical... Um, Paper, magazine-like paper. I mean, the inside is, but the cover is slightly different. So let's see here. <clears throat> okay, we have a few pages here. Six, eight, uh, 12 pages. Reasonable, not a very long rule book. Great illustrations and um, charts and things like that. Okay. We have an appendix. So apparently this rule book uh, warrants an appendix. And we also have an Automa rule book. Okay, so they have a separate rule book for the Automa rules. And it's uh, four pages long. Okay, really cool. All right, we have this right here. Let's see, what some kind of container here with a lid. It's kind of tough to pop this open here. I don't want to break this. You know what, guys? I might have to do this off camera. Okay, there you go. Got it. <laughs> All right. So this little tray here with this lid. We got a score pad here. Multiplayer specifies. Score pad. And then on the reverse side, you have the Automa score pad. So decent amount. I wish it had more sheets. I mean high volume players so don't know if that will be long enough we've got some nice chunky dice here these look really really cool with the round edges here really really cool nice and chunky here Ooh, let's see let's see Ooh, nice. and, they're, and they're wooden too Right? They're not <clears throat> plastic dice or any other material. They're wooden. Chunky wooden dice. We have a bunch of different colored cubes. We have purple, green, red, blue, and yellow. I'm guessing these are for the five different players. Basic cubes. Nothing extraordinary or unique about them. And let's see what else. We have this little board here. Has four rounds. It has most first, second, and third place in different categories, I'm guessing. Ooh, these are nice. The different eggs. Okay. Uh, so we have eggs in one, two, three, four, five different colors. This is a really nice blue, almost teal-like color here. And they're really nice and chunky. Like the material. Really, really cool. All right, so what else do we have here? Um, so this right here in this little big uh, Ziploc bag. We have some different player boards with like player aids, I guess, maybe. Player one, two, three, and four. Huh. Very interesting. I'm wondering if this is maybe actually for the Automa. I don't know. I'm not sure. Okay, use this guide and these cards to help a new player learn wingspan. Hmm. These instructions describe the first four turns of the first round. That's pretty cool. So it's a little bit of like a, <clears throat> a tutorial system, I guess. 
and it has some cards in here for that. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Okay, we got some additional Ziploc bags, some little trays and or containers here. And here we have the player boards, I believe, and really like the coloring here. And they fold up <clears throat> right there. Play a bird, gain food from the bird feeder, lay eggs on a bird, draw bird cards. Okay. All righty. And then we have here the bird house. Wow. Okay, so this is, look, looks pretty intricate here. So you punch out these pieces and they give you instructions on how to create the birdhouse which also serves as the dice tower for casting your dice. So that is really, really cool and thematic. And then we have this board here of a bunch of different tokens. I'll punch some of these out here for you all. So we've got uh, maybe bird seed, I guess, over here and some fish over here and some worms over here. So I guess these are different types of foods for the different types of birds. We have some mice over here, yummy. And we've got what seems to be or appears to be cherries. So these tokens are nice. They punch out uh, fairly easily. Um, we have a couple additional tokens right here. And again, they all punch out nice and neatly. I guess this is the first player marker here. And finally, we have a whole ton of cards. And cards are always my favorite component in a game. So let's just peel open a few of these and um, see what we have here. Okay. So let's open this up here. Come on, come on, come on. <clears throat> All right. So. We have here <clears throat> the mountain chickadee. I'm going to learn a lot about birds. I don't really know much about birds. <clears throat> We've got the white-breasted nuthatch. We've got the Carolina chickadee. And we have the red-breasted nuthatch. And we have the juniper titmouse. And we have the blue jay. I've heard of that one before. <clears throat> We've got the Stellar's jay. We got the Clark's nutcracker. The red-headed woodpecker. The acorn woodpecker. The red-bellied woodpecker. I didn't know there were that many types of woodpeckers. The only one I knew was woody woodpecker. All right, <clears throat> we've got the Northern Shoveler. We've got the Spotted Sandpiper. We've got the Purple Gallinule. We've got the Wilson's Snipe. <clears throat> we've got the Common Loon. The American Bittern. The Eastern Phoebe. The scissor-tailed flycatcher, the osprey, the ruby-throated hummingbird. We've got Anna's hummingbird, the great crested flycatcher, the blue-gray gnatcatcher, the hermit thrush, the kill deer, the Franklin's gull. The Mallard, the Forster's Turn, the Black Turn, the Clark's Grebe, the Wood Duck, the Ruddy Duck, the Common Yellow Throat, the Pied Billed Grebe, the Pileated Woodpecker, the Western Meadowlark, the Grasshopper Sparrow, the Chipping Sparrow, the Cassin's Sparrow, the Baird's 
sparrow, the California quail, the northern bobwhite, the morning dove, the Baltimore oriole, the red crossbill, the lazuli bunting, the American crow, the fish crow, the black crowned night heron, the chihuahuan, the chihuahuan, the chihuahuan, chihuahuan, or the chihuahuan, chihuahuan raven, <laughs> the common raven, the northern cardinal, the yellow bellied sapsucker, the indigo bunting, the western tanager, the spotted tauhi, tohi, the rose breasted grosbeak, the green heron, and the gray catbird. And that was just one of the decks I opened up. There's tons and tons of more cards. I actually look forward to learning more about these different breeds of birds. Well, that's it for today's unboxing. Thank you for joining us here on Harry Met Board Games. Comment down below. I am sure you probably played this game. Everybody in the world except for me has. Uh, this is Harry from When Harry Met Board Games saying take care, everybody. Stay safe, stay healthy, and have fun gaming. Bye-bye.